today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some bomb ass pour over. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is you're going to need a Chemex. Um, the one that I got was from Target. It's $19.99 in stores and online. You can also buy it all over the internet. So Amazon, wherever. And a second really important part that you're going to need is a box of filters. So I got my box of Chemex filters for $10 at my local Williams-Sonoma and you can order them online as well. So before you do anything, put some water in your kettle and let it boil. Next, you're gonna put your filter in and I'm gonna use my fist and make it look like I haven't seen chips in 10 years. And then you're gonna pull your boiling water in this is called rinsing the filter. It gets that really gunky cardboard taste out of the filter. And I like to just do it twice so we can get a nice quality rinse out of it. Then you're gonna pour that nasty water out. Next, I'm gonna be measuring out the coffee. If you don't have a measuring scale, that is totally fine. You can use one of these predefined scoops or four tablespoons. We're gonna be measuring out exactly one ounce of coffee and then adding 16 ounces of hot water to that. This is called the golden ratio. Based off your own preferences, your number might fall anywhere in between 15 and 18 ounces of hot water. Next, we're gonna bloom the coffee. So we're gonna slowly pour some hot water in there. Um, a good amount to put in is usually around two ounces. You're going to then want to let it sit and saturate a little bit for about 30 to 45 seconds. This is so that your coffee can have a really nice even brew and that all the grounds in there can get nice and saturated and get some of that nice tasty water in it. Now we're gonna pour the rest of the water in. Make sure you're doing it nice and slow in a circular motion so it can kick up all of those grounds and make it nice and even. It usually takes me about twice to be able to fill it up to 16 ounces, but however long it takes you, it doesn't matter. Just get that water in. So I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorite flavored coffees. I really love Lancaster County Coffee Roasters as well as Whiff Roasters. They both use really high quality coffee and I love their packaging as well. And they sell sample sizes, which is awesome if you wanna try a bunch of different flavors. Smaller bags equals less commitment. And on to the unflavored coffees. I really love Rudamaya, Cafe du Monde. I'm a medium to dark roast kind of girl, so these two coffees really give me that punch that I'm really looking for. I'm currently finishing out a bag of beans from Necessary Coffee, so I'll be trying out some beans from One Village. So your coffee's now ready. It's ready to go in your body. Your body's ready to receive it. So make sure you get a mug the size of your face and pour the entire thing in all at once. That's right, no small cups here. Okay, big cup energy. So now I'm gonna pour some almond milk in. I do that religiously actually, because I read somewhere in high school that if you don't drink coffee with milk, your teeth are gonna get yellow and your parents are gonna love you less. So now I just kind of do it religiously. All right, so it's done. Enjoy it. Make sure you cover all 9,000 taste buds, okay? So thanks for hopping in. I hope you liked it. Subscribe, like, comment, share your coffee journey with me. Love it. Okay, bye.